me and Meg had a secret language when we were little, but everyone when we were little used to speak it. Of a gis, of a gis, of a gins, of a gank, of a gall, fee, fine, of a If Meg was here, she'd know exactly what I was talking about. This is Skins and you're behind the scenes. <laughs> I love you this much. At the beginning, they show the twins as like kind of clinging to each other, and they've obviously always been to the same school and stuff. As the, as the series goes on, you see like Emily wanting to become, wanting to like openly become her individual person, and sort of growing out of the whole thing that they're twins, therefore they must do everything together. Katie, at the beginning, you think she's just shallow and attention seeking. She's acting as if she's some confident, cocky girl, and she really wasn't. And it was quite nice to play her like defeated. She is a nice person deep down, but she's just got a whole front to protect herself. Can't really sit down because she's just crazy. Last dancing with Doug and Pandora. Doug and Pandora. Ah, oh, soulmates. He's uh, he's had a soft spot for Harriet because she's a lady of steel, and she's not quite noticed him until now. No, I think Charles thought we weren't gonna do it properly, and then on the first rehearsal, like. I think we did it a bit, bit too properly. Um, yeah, and Meg was like, it had bits of hair, hair extensions coming out of so That was so much fun. I really, really liked doing that. And yeah, me and Meg smash in from the hall and like knock over some tables. And then we like fighting, fighting, pulling each other's hair. And Doug steps in to try and stop it. And he gets punched in the face in the script. And every single time we rehearsed it, I did it properly. Like I had to go like that and Meg ducked and he then. He, and I went like in front of his face by that much, but you couldn't see it in the camera. The cat actually did it for real. And she punched somebody on per like by accident for real. I punched him in the face. My brother punched him in the like actually. I was dropping right there. And uh, halfway falling down through the air, I realised she'd actually hit me and thought, how that happens. But as you can see, I've still got all my features intact and the no chip bones. I heard it go. I really heard it. <laughs> because he was so like shocked and taken aback that I'd actually punched him. He like stumbled over backwards and was wearing like those man like office shoes things. And Meg had bare feet, so he stood on Meg's foot with the corner of his heel. And you can still see the this, the shape of his heel on my foot. Not now, obviously, but. <laughs> and Meg fell over, and Meg, I didn't realise, but Meg was crying on the floor, like trying not to be seen by the camera because her foot was hurting so much. Everyone was like, oh, Giles, no, 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 oh, she didn't mean to hit you. And I was like, oh, on the floor, like nearly in tears, and I was really trying not to cry. And people kept saying, okay, people kept saying, are you okay, Meg? And I was like, yeah. And then I had to walk off and have a little cry, and then Luke, Luke came and gave me a, put a bottle of water on my foot. Me and Meg used to fight all the time when we were little. Not, not, we used to have a, like a couple physical fights. We used to bite each other a lot when we were little. Or bite ourselves and then tell our mum, like show our mum until the other one did it. Yeah, there was destruction. <laughs> he yeah. pushed me off a, um, off a top, backwards off the top of a bunk bed once. Well, she said, she, I said to her, I can't remember, but I, I remember saying to her, because my bed was the top bunk, and she, I said, get off my bed or I'm going to push you off. And she didn't get off. <laughs> I know, I had to go to hospital, like, and I, ser I like, broke my finger or something. <laughs> yeah, it was very, oh, no. very, very sad time. <laughs>